Random baseball player of the day is Pete Ladd. Look at that, dude. Looks great. Pete Ladd. How many syllables is Kodiak? Kodiak. Three. Three syllables, officially. Um, Pete Ladd, hell of a look. Hell of a look from Pete Ladd. Just a great, great look. Pete Ladd, his nickname was Bigfoot or Sasquatch. Middle name, Linwood. Same middle name as Luke Voigt. How about that? So maybe they can be friends. He's from uh, Boston. Oh, he's from Mass, Amherst. He His career's all right. He made his debut when he was like 20 years old. There he is. Uh, still alive, going strong. Uh, he made his debut at 22 years old for Houston. He said he didn't like Houston there, didn't like the culture in 1979. When he went to Milwaukee, and they, got, they traded for him like in October of 81, and then he got called up in 82, and... By the end of the 82 season, when the when the Brewers went to the World Series, Pete Ladd was the closer. He had taken over for Raleigh Fingers, I believe. He did a decent enough job. And in the postseason, he's actually uh, pitched really well for them. I believe. We can go check it out. But Pete Ladd, the Google search is good. I Google searched him yesterday. And I just told Jake, hey, Google search Pete Ladd. You'll like the vibe he was putting out. Here's his playoff number. So, yeah, he replaced Raleigh Fingers in 82 when Raleigh got hurt. And in the ALCS, he pitched the um, later innings of game one, three, and five. Zero earned runs, five strikeouts. In game one of the ALCS, he came in in the seventh innings and struck out the side. I wonder if it was a close game. Entered bottom seventh. They were down five, so I guess that doesn't really matter. Uh, And then he entered the top of the eighth, and they were ahead two, and he pitched a scoreless 1.1 innings to get the save. So he came in to get the last out of the eighth and then all three outs of the ninth. That makes sense. And uh, they were ahead, too. And then in game five of the ALCS, he came in when they were in the ninth inning and they were up by one, and he uh, faced the minimum only through nine pitches, got the save. He only got one outing in the World Series in game two, walked two guys, gave up a hit, but no runs. What happened there? He got in some trouble. All right, so we were playing the St. Louis Cardinals. Versus the Brewers, 1982 World Series. The Cardinals win. Paul Molitor, Robin Yount, Cecil Cooper, Ted Simmons. This is like a a celebrated Brewers squad, even though they lost. Um, Let's see. And the Cardinals, you had Hernandez, Lonnie and Ozzy Smith, Jim Cott pitched for Sutter. All right, so when did our dude come in? Bob McClure. Father of Mike McClure, whose music I really like. Also, I lied. They're not related unless they are, and I don't know about it. Kind of like a Tug McGraw, Tim McGraw situation where Tim didn't even know that that was his dad, yet he had posters of him in his room as a child because he was a big fan. Pete Ladd came in with a guy on first and second. Oh, okay. He, he allowed an inherited runner to score. Telling him about Pete Ladd. And Tug McGraw, I'm guessing. Well, because Bob McClure and Mike McClure is a country singer, so you just never know now. Anyone could be anyone's dad. Are you talking about the guy with Jake hair? Uh, Jake Pete Ladd. It's not Jake hair. It's like Weird Al Yankovic hair. I mean, look at this picture. I think Weird Al. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I there's... he looks like Weird Al. Yeah, there's comparisons to Weird Al. See? That's pretty good. Is that a young Weird Al? Yeah. I don't know that young Weird Al. I mean, what year is that pick got to be from? Uh, hasn't Weird Al yet? It's like pre our birth. Yeah, Weird Al Yankovic 
is okay. pre. I just want confirmation on that. Look at where. Weird Al Yankovic has been doing it for a long time, man. No, it's not. He's, like, aged well. Look, his first album was in 1976. Yeah, okay. Then, yes. I was talking about, like, 2000s Weird Al Yankovic. He's been doing it for a long time. Dude, he's, like, more appreciated musically now. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. I think so. Mm. Like, I think if you told people now. What's his latest song? And that's all I have to say. Uh, about shit, hit that. the wrong button. Weird Al Yankovic. Wasn't there one where all the celebs did a lip sync? Yeah, but that that was um that was fancy. With Jack Black. Right. I don't know what his most latest song is. I have no idea. <laughs> He's sixty years old now. It's kinda that's like nuts, man. I don't know. I think that the fact that like Hollywood still appreciates him. Not viewed as like a total joke. Well, he's nice. Like he won't take beer sponsorships or cigarette sponsorships because he's got a young audience. There's all these stories it's about for the kids. Where's that that gif of Jack Black in the fancy video? Is so good. Oh no no, it's tacky was the one. Tacky, yeah. This will get us. Hold on, this will get us. So here's what fifty four. Copyrighted, so quick. I just need the Jack Black intro. We'll show everyone the Jack Black intro because it's the best. I think it's after her. <laughs> uh, hold on. Tight and tight, man. That's so good. Yeah. Oh, uh, watch that slow mo. I used to have that as a GIF on my phone because it's so funny. Now you're going slow mo. Yeah, you got to go slow mo on it. Okay. It's a good shirt, but we want Jack. Where is he? And cut. And Jack Black transition. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> So, Jack, you going with the flame shirt with the tie-dye pants <laughs> up to your belly button? Oh, man. He's the best. Yeah. I mean, he is the best. He's a showman. Okay. Weirdo. Uh, so, that's Pete Ladd. He looked like Weird Al Yankovic. We landed on Weird Al Yankovic. And uh, I love that Jack Black clip. 